unpopular opinion. You see, when you find yourself succumbing to the dark side of being jealous, which is short for being jealous whilst angry. For example, when you hear about nepo babies like this, Northwest going viral at the moment. Check out the clip. Yeah, like I agree, there is room for improvement. But if you find yourself jang angulous, which is angry while jealous, and then you agree with these comments, like, oh, it's sad for all the other talented kids, you know, um, uh, she got the role because uh, she's Kim Kardashian's daughter and obviously Kanye's wealth and reach. And if you find yourself succumbing to those feelings, agreeing with those comments that it's an undeserved opportunity for Northwest, then you are subscribing to a victim mindset. That's my unpopular opinion. And let me digress. And the reason I bring this up is a lot of people who are suffering from the housing crisis are subscribing to this victim mindset, blaming the government, blaming someone else, subscribing to the idea that oh, hard work equals the desired outcome or my input should get the same output. That is unfair for people like, you know, the Nepo babies, like Northwest in this example, probably practice for like two days and landed that role for the 50th anniversary celebrating Lion King, whilst the very, very talented children out there who've been practicing from like yonks when they were babies, never got the cut to fill that role, which she's performing right now. And I see this in the property market, right? when clients come to me and go, oh, you know, that person outbidded me. Um, she's so young, he's so young, must be a Nepo baby. Then we hear news articles saying, oh, the father just purchased a $2 million house for so-and-so young kid. Oh, it's so unfair, blah, blah, blah. I hate nepotism. But look, think about this. Ask yourself this question. What is generational wealth? Generational wealth. Generational wealth, guys, if you think about it deeply, is the goose that produces the golden egg. And what is that byproduct of generational wealth? Well, nepotism. Look, after working with so many high net worth clients like migrants, you know, they're like third generation Aussies, right? They've been working, well, their ancestors, their, you know, their grand, great grand, then their grand and their parents have been working for them to experience the byproduct of generational wealth, which is nepotism. Generational wealth means the first generation sacrifice, second generation sacrifice, and then the third generation who had an accumulation of all these assets passed down, compounding means your next generation, for example, these nepo babies, like those who buy property with their parents' cash, or you know, like old mate over here, that generation grows up in a new environment where wealth and opportunity is a default which you guys term as nepotism. I don't care what labels you slap on them, like you know, Nepo babies, Nepo first home buyers. They are enjoying the fruits of the hard work of their ancestors. And there is nothing you can do about it, guys. You gotta compare with your own family line when you're comparing about, oh, you know, I can't get into the housing market. Uh, the government's not helping liberal labor. Or I don't have enough cash. Or these guys, they're rich, they're wealthy, they can get into it. Or Nepo babies, they have all the money from their parents, a bank of mum and dad to help them. It's so not fair. Look at your freaking family line. What has your first, second, third generation done? And has your family line, your ancestors, thought about generational wealth? Have they worked towards that? Take a really close look of your family line, your history. If your last, second or third generation, they've been on Centrelink, they've been renting, they have no freaking property, they have no savings, they're gamblers. Versus other people that you accuse of, oh, Nepo babies, you know, Nepo first home buyers. Maybe their first, second, third generation, they were investors, they had businesses, their businesses went kaboot, and then they start new businesses, they took risks, and then they built wealth that way. Stop being a fucking victim of all oh, the housing crisis, the government, the liberal, the labor, the government does not give a fuck about you. You're just a number. If you take an honest look at your family's tree, your family line, and they never thought about generational wealth or like try to achieve generational wealth and pass on to the next generation, then sucked in. That's what you're in. The buck stops with you right now. Stop being this victim. Maybe you should be the first generation for the third generation for your you know, grand grand kids to experience nepotism like Northwest. Because if the buck doesn't stop with you, you just gotta repeat the family history. You know, you gotta be uh, complaining, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, you're going to be on bloody Centrelink. You'll be renting. You'll be in a shit job. You want to start a business. You want to invest. You want to take risks. You're just going to blame, 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 blame. And what happens, this cycle of poverty in your family keeps continuing. Whenever I see a Nepo baby, when I see someone that's 19 years old driving a Lamborghini, right? I'm like, I'm happy for you because your last generation has worked hard to build generational wealth for you to experience that. Like, I would have an ounce of jealousy or anger, right? Because I am working hard right now. I came as a first generation here. My kids are probably second generation. I can't experience generational wealth because the US bombed the crap out of Vietnam. You read about the Vietnam War, right? So I don't have that opportunity, but I don't have a victim mindset. I'm like, hey, the buck stops with me. I work hard. And in my generation right now, 40 years old, I have eight properties. I worked hard. I worked hard. I worked two, three jobs. You know, you guys see me on TikTok every single day. I'm still working on even though I have wealth. That is the mindset. I don't blame the government because the government can't do shit. It's just musical chairs. One day's liberal, they promise something. One day's labor, they promise something. We're just a number. We're just taxpayers. They don't care about us. So the buck stops with you. And the buck stops you when you stop subscribing to this victim mindset. Remember, no one can save you except you. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think.